Good morning, Westwood students and faculty. Here's another episode from somebody that isn't first period. This is six periods first episode. Hey, hey Warriors. Warriors, I'm Asian. And I'm Fabian. Welcome, Welcome to, to WNN. Let's go to Dante with the weather. The weather today, Friday, um, it's going to be sunny. Uh, it's going to be 49 degrees. And highs will go to about 78. Saturday, it's going to be cloudy, 55. Highs will go up, 79, you know, something slight. Um, Sunday, you know, it's going to be cloudy again. It's going to be 57 degrees. Highs will go up to 82. It's going to be cloudy again. Now here's Grayson with next week's lunch. Yo, yo, yo. Rev up them fryers for next week. Because on, on Monday, we shall be having homemade spaghetti with garlic knot and side salad, a deli sub and a barbecue chicken salad. On Tuesday, we shall be having a spicy chicken pot stickers with fried rice and steamed broccoli and carrots. Spicy chicken wrap and a chef salad. On Wednesday, we shall be having a ribbon sandwich with baked beans, turkey and cheese sub, crispy chicken salad. On Thursday, we shall be having a popcorn chicken bowl with corn and mashed potatoes and a fresh baked roll, ranchero wrap, and spicy chicken salad. And for Friday, we'll be having the best meal of all, food. Now let's go ask Daniel about track. But what I do know is that you should come watch What's the Track and Be in the Richard Thompson South Mountain Track Meet this Saturday, February 24th, at South Mountain High School. Worcester will be there the entire day competing in every event you can think of, with lots of food and drinks being served as well. Using $5 for students and $10 for adults. Hope to see you out there, because you definitely don't want to miss it. For more information on the South Mountain Track Meet, please visit the westwoodathletic.net page. Here's Asian interviewing about cheer. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to WNN. Today we're with Mr. Gilmore, the principal. What do you think about the Westwood Cheer team? Man, to go all the way out to California, Southern California, Orange County, and show the rest of the nation what Westwood's all about, couldn't be more proud of them. Great job, uh, Westwood Cheer team. A war Eagle, a uh, <laughs> way to represent. Today we're with Kenny Johnson. Kenneth, uh, what do you think about the Westwood Cheer team? They're pretty good. What do you think about them winning national? That's great. And what do you think about the cheer team? Shout out to Janessa. Yay, Janessa. Yeah, Janessa. She's not even here. Don't turn around. <laughs> uh, shout out to all you guys in California. I hope y'all win. Yay. Today we're with Riggs. What do you think about the West with your team? They're really pretty. Roy, what do you think about the West with your team? I think they did pretty good. I heard they went to like nationals. That's tough. And they did good at our football games. Don't look nonchalant. Now let's go see some interviews about President's Day. What did you do over the three day weekend? Um, oh, I had a, it was my birthday on Sunday, but I had a party on Saturday, so yeah, I partied, and Monday, I just chilled. Weekend, I got to go see both of my kids down at the University of Arizona, we went to a baseball game, played in a cornhole tournament, and we went to the Tucson Rodeo. Um, I went snowboarding, and I had a birthday party. Fun. Anything else? Um, I went and celebrated my boyfriend's birthday. <laughs> Um, I went out with friends. I went to Mexico. Uh, while going to Mexico, I went to California also. I went hiking and dyed my hair. I went to movies and also dyed my hair. That's why you guys. I went to the mall with my friends. I went to the mall with my friends. I went to the Renaissance Fair. I went to a birthday party. And uh, I went to Rancho Ocho and I could And hear. I was blessed. On Sunday, my two boys came home to visit for breakfast, and so it was really cool. Con Emiliano. Okay. ¿Qué hiciste ese fin de semana, Emiliano? Pues nada, estar en casa y no más. Todo aburrido. Todo aburrido. El fin de semana todo corto. I went to the river. Um, I went to the mall. Here are some upcoming movies. All right, guys. It's Damien, and I gotta talk about movies with y'all. I watched the new Madame Web, but it was. It was a little overhyped. Movies currently haven't been that good, but there's hope for good movies in 2024. There's a whole bunch that are coming out and I've only listed a few. Deadpool 3 was announced during the Super Bowl and 
that's probably gonna be one of the best movies if they actually make it good and not flop. Another Godzilla vs. King Kong is coming out. Venom 3 is also gonna be coming out towards the end of the year. Despicable Me 4 was announced as well. So was another Lord of the Rings movie. Mm, Kung Fu Panda 4 is also another really hype movie that people are gonna wanna watch. And the Garfield movie is gonna be out soon. So make sure to watch that, I'm sure it's gonna be funny. Let's ask Fabian about the bathroom situation. What's the name? Jose. Um, how do you feel about the um, bathroom being closed? I don't know because they closed down, they closed down like all the restrooms, you know. I'm like over there in the 600s, I gotta go all the way over there, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean you, bro. I mean you. Okay, keep it down. All right, three, two, all right. What's your name? Vanya. Um, how old are you? 15. Okay, how do you feel about the bathrooms being closed? I think that they should open them up because it's just more convenient and it wastes less time so people don't have to wait for other people to get done to use the bathroom. Okay. okay. Alright, thank you for your time. Hello, I am here with... Daryl. Um, can you give me a reason why the bathrooms are closed? I can give you lots of reasons, but the main reason is, is outside of a school that has a ton of really good kids in it, there's always three or four, whatever, that cause the damage that causes us to shut the bathrooms down. So that's, that's what happens. People keep breaking them, and everybody else has to pay the price for it. That's my personal opinion. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time. You're ready. Sweetheart's Dance with Grayson. This is the Sweetheart's Dance, hosted by Westwood. And here's some interviews. What do you think of this event? I think of this event about like, um, I get so hydrated and about like, oh my gosh, I get so, I get so excited about this and, and that the way that it is that, you know, I like to hang out with my friends and, and I love to like, like show, showing my dances so far and I get the goodest, funnest part that, that I always have in my life. What do you guys think of this event? It's a good experience. <laughs> yeah. So what was your motivation on creating this wonderful event? Well, we wanted to have a dance for many of our special ed students that do not attend our regular high school dances. So it was kind of a way for them to get together and then also have their kind of their social circle, the people that they see at Special Olympics or that they see at uh, adaptive leisure activities. Here is Will with the announcements. The Model UN Club competed last weekend at the annual MCC Model UN Conference against 390 students from across Arizona and won a few awards. Special shout out goes to senior Martin Spitzel and junior Hassel Enriquez for best delegates in the International Court of Justice. Shout out to sophomore Gori Nair who won three awards for her reporting in the world press. Congratulations to our whole team. We can't wait to see you in London. Upperclassmen Bonfire is taking place tonight at the softball field off of Cherry Street right behind the bus parking lot. All juniors and seniors join us from 6 to 8 p.m. for this bonding event where you could purchase s'mores, buy food from our carne asada food truck, or frozen yogurt and shaved ice from our food truck. Be sure to bring your IDs as they will be checked upon arrival. Today is the last day to order your Costco muffin for $2 from the Drama Club. Pick up a form in the drama room and return it with your money. Muffins will be delivered to your second hour class on Tuesday, February 27th. Choose from almond poppy, blueberry, double chocolate, or vanilla chocolate chunk. Seniors, we're going to Universal Studios in April. If you're interested in joining us on this quick trip, be sure to attend an informational meeting happening today to receive all the necessary information about the trip, payments, and more. You can attend either during fourth lunch in the Stuco room, room 511, or during fifth lunch in the drama room. You only need to attend one meeting, and please see Mr. Chavez and Ms. Lopez for more information. Guess what? Just got news, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Senior personality count. Senior nominations are due today. Nominate your friends, fellows, and foes for all the different categories in the new yearbook. Categories include, um, let me get the spreadsheet. Nominations include most likely to win a Nobel Prize. Most likely to light up a room. Most likely to have secret superpowers. Most likely to be successful. Most school spirit, best dressed, and 
best bromance. Aww. So make sure you nominate all your seniors, friends, and buddies, and foes, and whatever to be on the yearbook. While I'm also editing this, what is going on, Stuko? You think this is funny? You think we're all laughing at this? What the heck? Well, that was WNN. I'm Asian. And I'm Faven. Remember, Remember fear, fear the spear! spear.